you guys welcome back okay so today I'm actually doing this purple eye look using the latest installment in the Aviation Norvina Pro Pigment Palette series so this one is number five okay I love 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 this packaging I don't know I might love this one the most out of all of them it's so cute it's so simple but so so pretty Sorry about the lights reflecting in my packaging, but <laughs> you guys get the gist. It's so pretty. I love this whole situation going on here, okay? And I love purple. So I knew when I saw this palette, immediately I was grabbing it. Okay, so I did this look today using this palette. If you guys are familiar with this ABH Norvina series, you know that these are the larger pro pigment palettes and quite honestly this one might be one of my favorites now because it was super easy to work with it wasn't hard to blend out the pigmentation was on point and the shimmers in here absolutely gorgeous I love the shimmers they are all over my lid as you can see here I love them so I had a very nice experience using this palette spoiler alert okay but I will kind of get more in depth while I'm doing the actual eyeshadow tutorial like I normally do so this is what she looks like let me give you a little bit of a closer look absolutely gorgeous of course if you're not into purples don't buy this palette because <laughs> it is a purple palette okay this is what I felt the other blue purple palette should have been you know the one that actually has the bold purple packaging and everything I don't remember what volume it is but this is what I felt like that was gonna be because purple packaging purple palette but as a matter of fact let me grab it so you can see what I'm talking about okay so yeah it's actually the volume one <laughs> okay hello KK the first one so it's actually the volume one but of course looking at the packaging I'm like ooh. A purple palette is gonna be shit popping okay and you know although there are a lot of gorgeous purples in here it's a lot of other pops of color sprinkled throughout that kind of makes it a more colorful palette if you know what I mean so very very pretty but this one here if I can hold it without dropping it this one is truly a purple palette okay and she has stolen my little purple heart okay so yeah that's just kind of a comparison of what they look like like I said this one has some nice beautiful purples as well but this one completely purple okay and it's very cool tone um if you can you know see from the different purple shades that are in here very cool tone now what I will say about this palette is that like these matte shades look very similar it's like they have slight differences to them you know this one's a little bit more cool these a little more warm but like these two look very similar um you know you have your cool tone neutrals in here and stuff but all in all i'm not mad at it i'm not i think it is a gorgeous palette i had so much fun creating this look and you know i can't wait for you guys to check it out now in my inner corner you see that you see that that's not from this palette <laughs> okay so <laughs> so you know don't get excited honey because that is not from this palette that's from my adept cosmetics and hydrant palette okay i always keep these palettes close by just for such occasion okay now i did go in with this shade here which is aci 20 so that is that shade right there and I'll pop that in my inner corners just to add a little pizzazz to this look. And I absolutely love it. So, anywho, that's all I have to say about this first impression of this palette. I didn't have any issues with blending, with putting down my shimmers, none of that. So, if you want to see how I created this look, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into this look. So I'm starting out by prepping my lids with my P. Louise base. As you can see here, I'm just using a large brush to kind of tap that all over my lid and make sure it's nice and blended out. 
I am using tape today because I do want a nice sharp line on the outer corners. So I'm starting out with this first shade, which is B3. Very pretty, nice, kind of like super light purple lilac <laughs> matte shade. And I'm using a medium sized fluffy brush just to place that in my crease and gently blend it out. You can see here the pigmentation is very, very nice. It's definitely showing up. So next I'm going into a darker purple shade, which is C3. I was pretty surprised <laughs> when I just placed the brush in my crease, how pigmented it is, very nicely pigmented. So I'm just taking and gently dragging that throughout my crease, making sure that it blends nicely with that first shade. Now here I'm using a medium sized um, fluffy type blending brush, not super large, just so I can be pretty precise with my placement and just making sure that I deepen that crease just a little bit more with that darker purple. I really, really like how these shadows are blending together. And as you can see, that shade builds up very, very nicely. So next, I did want to go ahead and deepen up just a little bit more. So I'm going into the shade E5. It's kind of like a really dark, kind of like bricky toned shade. You know, it kind of still has that purple vibe to it, but it's more of like a dark brown or bricky toned shade. And as you can see, it is deepening up my crease very nicely. I had no issues placing this down and blending that into that darker purple shade. I really, really love how these colors are coming together. It's giving me exactly what I want. And I knew I wanted to do like a cut crease type of look. So just kind of gauging where I'm going to cut my crease as far as where I place this darker shadow and blend it out. So I was very, very pleased with it. So I am using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas today. And as you can see, I'm just kind of tapping it down, trying to figure out exactly where I want that cut to be. I'll be honest with you guys, <laughs> this cut crease was a little bit of a struggle for me. I don't know why. It was just like I would get it just right and then it was like it didn't want to act right. I don't know, but eventually it did come together. So now I'm just going in with some of my NYX Glitter Primer because I want to make sure that these shimmers pop and that they stay in place. And so I'm just placing that all over the area that I did my cut crease on so that I can, you know, prep it before the shimmers. Now the first shimmer I'm going into is E3. Very, very pretty. It has like a pink tone to it. And as you can see, I am using a flat synthetic brush to place that down. I noticed with these shimmers that they place very, very nicely when you use your finger. But because I was trying to get it nice and tight in that corner, I did go ahead and use a flat brush for this shade. But as you can see here, it's showing up very, very nicely very pretty and it's laying down very easily on top of that glitter primer i really like how it came out now to add a little bit of dimension to my lid i wanted to use another shimmer shade from the palette and so the shade that i'm going into next is c1 very very pretty like you know light purple i can't think of <laughs> The color that I'm trying to, you know, describe it as. You guys know what I mean. A light, light purple. What is it? Anyway, lavender? Lavender? Yeah, lavender. <laughs> so I'm using my finger for this shade because I really wanted to see how it would lay down. And as you can see, it's laying down very nicely with my finger. Those two colors blended together very well. Once I laid it down with my finger, I did go ahead with my brush and I placed a little bit on my brush just to kind of, you know, get that precise line where that cut crease is to make sure that, you know, everything just kind of blends together nicely. And as you can see, I'm using the brush to blend those two shades together as well. I really like the shimmers. They're gorgeous. So now I'm just removing the tape, 
that nice satisfying edge there <laughs> from using the tape. I went ahead, finished my complexion off camera. So now I'm just going in with a regular black pencil eyeliner, taking that on my lower lash line and to further smoke it out, I'm going into the shade D4, just to add a hint of purple, you know, to that lower lash line as well, just to bring this look together. Nothing too major, just a little hint of purple. Now for that inner corner pop, I am using my Adept Cosmetics Ninhydrin palette, going into the shade ACI20, and just using a small fluffy brush to kind of brush some of that in my inner corner. And as you can see, it really pops. I like the fact that you can see it more when I turn to the side, just really, really pretty. Going in with my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara on my lower lash line. And this is the final look, you guys. I really enjoyed using this palette. I don't know how many different purple looks I can do, but I'm sure I'm going to try some more. Hope you guys enjoyed this look today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles! Talk to me.